Hey again, everyone. This is uh, stage two of my journey, uh, living with CACNA 1A genetic um, mutation, aka episodic ataxia 2. So, um, I would say in this stage, um, I, um, was, you know, about 10 years old. Um, this is when I first started, um, getting, uh, dizzy. Okay, and this, um, dizziness wasn't, it didn't inter interfere with much of anything at the time. It was just, it would happen, let's say, once a month or something, or every couple months. So, it did not hinder with much of my functioning at the time when it first started. Um, it would be like I was spinning. Um, I would go out places and it would just suddenly hit me where I was uh, spinning. Um, so yeah. Um, so this occurred but as time went on you know the dizziness started to actually increase so as it being started as it started out being infrequent and not um pretty much hindering my functioning like in school and my daily activities or anything it gradually as time went on it increased um, by the uh, time I was, let's say, 14 years old, it became like a weekly occurrence, and by that time I was vomiting. So, and it came to the point that every time I got dizzy, I'd feel sick, um, because I was just constantly spinning. And the spinning wouldn't, wouldn't even last for a brief moment. It would be like few hours at a time so I literally I would have to lay down and sleep it off otherwise if I was forced to stay in class or whatever I just wouldn't be able to function um, and Going from classroom to classroom in school was extremely difficult on me because I would feel so uncoordinated. I was traumatically dizzy. And what I mean by that is the dizziness was so bad, it was literally, it would traumatize me. So, it, it really hit me emotionally because... It wasn't easy, and it was traumatizing. It was literally traumatizing. I, w I became, like, afraid I was suddenly going to get dizzy when I went to school every day. And the extra stress on top of that made it a whole lot worse because the anxiety and the stress of being afraid of it happening all the time was a triggering factor on top of that. So, the dizzy spells did have triggers, okay? It was mostly stress, anxiety, and physical activity at the time. Like, if I would participate in gym class and stuff like that, I'd have a problem. So, there has been a couple times where I did collapse in gym class. And it was very, very difficult. And I had to get a doctor's excuse to no longer participate in gym class. Because that was really, really difficult. So it came to the point I could no longer participate in gym class. When I did, my limbs, my leg muscles, and everything just would give out. I become uncoordinated and I literally collapsed. I fell to the ground. This happened at least twice 
uh, in the gym setting when I was in school. So, and I continued with the special education programs then, but when I was a child, I was in full-time uh, uh, support classrooms, and by the time I was getting older, I became part-time mainstream and learning support, as well as autistic support speech and language support and emotional support as well because I just had so much trouble um, learning, coping with the condition on top of my learning difficulties and my physical difficulties and everything. So, um, I also had an instance where, and I do not know if it's related, but, um, I was being checked for other conditions as well, and was tested on, um, in Cleveland Clinic, and I was tested positive for dysautonomia, or autonomic dysfunction, um, and the test was terminated early because I had a very bad episode during the test. So, with that being said, I had troubles with my heart rate, I had troubles with my blood pressure as well, and a lot of it occurred when standing. Um, so, yeah. I was also tested for a number of other things. I was tested for seizures, um, I was tested for diabetes, my blood sugar, and the list goes entirely on. Um, I had multiple MRIs. I was, I was always being told that they were unremarkable, that there was nothing wrong with them. So that went on and on and on and on throughout my young life. <laughs> All I was doing was seeing doctors when I was younger. And my entire young life was wasted away. I could not enjoy much of my young life because I was always sick. So, um, that's that part of my story. By the time I was in high school, my dizziness became at its worst peak. Um, and I will continue the next stage of my journey in the next video. Bye now.